Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Beyond Blue. Last time we left off, we found out there were new baby leatherback turtles in the area, and... Now we're gonna see what other kinds of babies we can find. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, so, message from Andre. Hi, Mirai. Sorry to miss the post I brief. I've been listening to our humpback recordings for hours and got myself in a kind of funk. Actually, I started listening to the humpbacks and then switched to Miles Davis. Anyway, I don't see any clear sign that our playback influenced any of the other whales yet, but I just know we're on the right track. I'm sorry to be in such a mood. Don't know what to make of those turtles or what's going on with our sperm whale family. Right. Catch you in a bit. Alright, and the next dive is ready just after that f short little conversation, so... This might be kind of a short episode. Apparently we've unlocked a song. Probably Miles Davis, if I had to guess. Day 12. Spent the last five days on an endless series of depth tests of Andre's deep diving suit. Guess he doesn't want me to implode on the live stream. I do hope it's giant squid proof, though. The mapping drone located a brine pool near where Andrea's family has been hunting. That is, before it went AWOL. Ready to die. I mean dive. Yeah, let's hope this thing doesn't let me implode. That would probably be bad. I'm in and okay. Are you sure I can't talk you into another test dive at this step before we stream? Enough test dives. It's not like I'm doing a spacewalk. Well, with this suit, you probably could. Are we going to talk about suit crush depth again? I think we can probably roll. Starting the live stream. Welcome back, ocean friends. Tonight, I am deep. Midnight zone, no light from the surface deep. Tonight, we're using Andre's lure drone to mimic the Atolla jellyfish to lure large predators like the giant squid. <laughs> it's certainly not all my tech. I'm building on years of prior research. Don't forget our mission to the brine pools. Oh yes, Arena will fill you in on that later. I don't like this. <laughs> that just infinite blackness off in that direction. My brain just keeps saying that like something's just gonna fly out at me. Ugh. I hate it. I hate it. Look at you. See, I'm not really scared of you, football fish. I mean you you do look pretty creepy, don't get me wrong. You look like some kind of terrifying monstrosity, but Honestly, it's not- it's not that bad. It's, it's not as bad as a Reaper Leviathan. I mean, I've caught plenty of football fish in Animal Crossing, so why would I be scared of you? You look slightly different in Animal Crossing. Okay, Andre, how do I find the Lyra drones? Look for blinking red lights in the water column. Oh hey, it's a barrel eye. I've caught one of you in Animal Crossing too. I think you're like one of the most expensive fish. Oh, this just, oof. I really can't describe my fear. Like, I know I talk about it a lot, but it's... It's really hard to get across just how actually unnerved this makes me. Even in a peaceful, peaceful game like this. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if I jumped when a giant squid does appear. If one does. No need to get too close. You can activate the lure from there. Andre, have you done this before? I haven't, but others have. How long until we can expect the lure to attract a predator? Uh, it's hard to say. It's a big ocean. But if you lose patience, I would find some real Atola jellyfish. I have a feedback system set up to improve the lure as you scan them. Of course you do. For those watching, we will be scanning these Atola jellyfish to make sure Andre's lure matches the real thing. It does. But it can always be refined. Not much confidence in humanity, but plenty in himself. Uh, I'm just out here in the open. Anything could swoop by and get me. I don't like it. I hate it. It's a horrible feeling. I'm just going from light to light, and that's not a good feeling. Especially down here. That is not what you want to be doing down here. Just going from light to light? No. Uh, so I guess I... Oh, zoom scan. Oh, I have to zoom scan them. Whoops. I was just scanning a bunch of them. Uh, so... Got the jellyfish scans. Though, Andre doesn't need them. In truth, they should improve the lure. I would not waste your time. 
getting a few impolite comments on the screen pointing out that giant squid don't feed on Atolla jellyfish. They're right. Actually, the Atolla puts on this light show when under attack in order to lure creatures big enough to eat their attacker. Might have some useful human applications. I think we need more Atolla scans to approve the lure. I see. So they just own the comments by being like, yeah, they don't need jellyfish. But they are attracted okay. to the light. Whose idea was it to live stream this particular dive? I am glad I can't see the comments. I would agree. My grandmother had the saying for times like this. I, I'm not going to try my grandmother's accent on a live stream, but loosely translated, it means if you get bored waiting for a giant squid, you can always go to a bride pool. That's a pretty specific saying. So, I guess I gotta zoom scan more. Yep, we gotta zoom scan more. I mean, I don't see how people could still be bored by this. Atolas were already making their blue alarm before you swam close. Most likely a sign that they have detected predators in the region that threaten them. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> That's exactly what I want to hear. There's predators in the region that will threaten them. Is a giant squid coming to eat this? Ooh. Yes, it is. Oh, Jesus. Ah, that gave me a chill. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, screw that. Screw that. Screw that. No, 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 no. Get me out of here. I you enjoyed that, but... Do you mind if we check out the brine pool before we check on our whale cam? If you insist. You uh, got what you wanted. Damn it. This is my giant squid. Hmm. Is that another one of your grandmother's sayings? No, but she often used this one. Hurry up and collect my specimens for me. What an expressive language. It's no giant squid, but I promise you, you won't have to wait to find it. Hmm. <laughs> Man, I I tried to scan that squid when it went by, At but I couldn't. At long last, welcome to the brine pool. I know it's really a salt lake under the ocean, but it looks more like a witch's brew. I have been teasing Arena, but a brine pool is a diverse micro-environment within the ocean. It has its own ecosystem. And each one is unique. So that means the microbiology is unique and could hold groundbreaking solutions to human problems. Each time I take new samples into a lab here on this ship, it's this magical discovery moment where I tingle all over. I fund my own research so I can pursue what I know to be important. And people ask me, how much money are you going to spend to collect some bacteria at the bottom of the ocean? If these bacteria hold the cure for a disease that relieves even just a small amount of human suffering, how do you put a price on that? That is some giant squid. Where? Where? <laughs> I don't see one. <laughs> please don't please don't just say, "Wow, that's 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 crazy that giant squid over there," but not show me where it's at. Where is it? <laughs> oh man. I don't like it. I mean, it's got to be around here somewhere, right? I want to scan it because I imagine we're not really going to get another opportunity to scan a giant squid. The, like, weird light show down here is pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't see a giant squid. Giant squids are very crazy, though. I mean, we haven't even seen a, one of the colossal variety yet. Is that what my other waypoint is pointing me to? The giant squid? I mean, I imagine I didn't just have to chase down that one that ran away. I've scanned enough hagfish, apparently, so we don't need to do that anymore. I just need more microbial samples. Where were they, though? I scanned three, but... Having a hard time finding another one. Tell you one thing, there's a... Hell of a lot of, uh, there are lies down here. 
And hey, a football fish. Hello, football fish. You seen any uh, areas to scan around here? What is it? A, a microbial thing? That's that's what I have to scan. Well, there's one that I've already scanned. Yeah, I still need to find one more. Hmm. Oh, I think I was too far away. Okay, so I just wasn't in the right area. Because I kind of went off on a tangent looking for the squid. That kind of messed me up a bit. Yeah, because we need one more, damn it. Where, though? Comb jelly. Like microbial mat samples. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I think that's the three that I collected. Well, there's a fourth one, but I can't scan it? Huh. Okay, what's the what's the deal here? I mean, it's not in here, I don't think. And we've scanned there. This is specifically where the waypoint is leading us. Okay, there it is. I just had to be like right up on it to actually get the prompt to appear. Wait, so that's everything, right? What is this? Is that just another sample we can get? Marai, pushing you away point. Sperm whales are back on the hunt. Okay. Look for the drones. They will seek out the sound of the sperm whales and then idle nearby. We hope that today Andreas Tech will make it possible to document how a sperm whale hunts the giant squid. Ooh, I want to see. Uh, yeah, I got to scan one of those giant squid before you eat it. Ugh, what is that red stuff? Oh, okay, that's just the drone. Got it. <laughs> This must be a crazy experience to swim around with this. I'm amazed somebody can actually do this without just being absolutely terrified. Okay. What else do we got? Anything? Apparently there's one more thing. Let's go yeah. tag some sperm whales so we can eavesdrop on their hunting. One of our viewers wants to know if there is a problem with the link since the waypoints keep appearing and disappearing. No problem. The drones are in stealth mode, so they will only track the whales by sound. I better swim fast. Yeah, there's a squid. Enable tag receiver camera on hunting sperm whale. We'll keep okay. Good watch over you. So, and then there's a live cam on the squid. Oh wait, no, that's just on the that's just on the whale. Okay. Maybe we should just stay with the whale then. I want to be able to capture the squid, too. Enable tag receiver camera. Yeah, haven't I already done that? Or is that what it's saying right here? Yeah, there we go. Can I scan the squid while this is happening, please? Ooh. Oh, oh, poor buddy. He didn't even know what hit him. Where they happened? at? I think the squid knocked the camera right off. I had that camera feed in full screen on my visor, and for a second, I thought it was lights out for me. Sounds like a good time for the sub to pick you up. Live stream out. Oh wait, we're not gonna. Oh, okay, we're done. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Alrighty. I think that that dive was pretty short, so I'm gonna. Say something a little crazy here and say we can probably do one more dive. Otherwise, this video is going to be like 15 minutes. Or maybe once we go through these messages, the episode will be long enough. 
It's Irina. Since there's no dive today, I'm going to lose myself in the wet lab to work on those samples you sent up from the brine pool. Hey, have you listened to my daughter's track? Interesting, right? I have not. <laughs> Mirai, remember the tag we found on the turtles? I put it out on the network and I got the strangest message back. I'm going to take a tender to a small island nearby and check it out. I'll explain everything later. Still no mapping drone, by the way. Hey, it's me. Nana didn't qualify for the study. Doctor says we missed the window. Whatever that means. Hard to tell what she remembers now. It's tough. Not sure my head's 100% there with school. Honestly, seems like a waste of money. Anyway, see you. That sucks. That's always the absolute worst when a loved one starts getting some sort of disease like that and is affected by it. Alzheimer's and dementia and all of those brain altering diseases are just absolutely horrible. And I feel for anyone that's having to go through somebody dealing with that. There's Barrel Eye. Look at you. Science log. <laughs> so they don't tell us much about you. Lanternfish? Lanternfish. Okay. And then the football fish. We got more information about comb jellies, apparently. Just that they chill in the midnight zone. What about the Atolla jellyfish? These creepy looking boys. Dark red color to look invisible in the deep water. It typically has 20 marginal tentacles and one hyper hypertrophy tentacle, which is larger than the rest. Interesting. There's still a one something that we haven't found. We just have to scan one of them. That might be the giant squid. And maybe a colossal squid. Seems like we've just about scanned just everything, though. There's only four creatures we've never scanned, so that's interesting. Alright, the question is, do I want to go ahead and do this next dive? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Day 13. We're in the vents region without a map because of the lost drone. Diving blind, but I know these vents are important to Arena. We tracked a tag from our whale family here. I'm hoping it just fell off, as this would be an unusual place for a whale to be. Andre has the dive suit in safe mode, so I'll have restricted range. Head south to find the clearing for the sub pickup. Check. Ready to dive. All right. I'm Oop. in and okay. Remember, no boys and no waypoints. I put a simple version of the mapping system on your Manta drone. Now, we won't get your feed live, so we'll hear you, but won't see what you see. I really wish we hadn't lost that mapping drone. Relax. You know I've got this. Of course. But we'll keep unnecessary chatter to a minimum to help you focus. Roger that. No chit-chat. Singing's okay, though, right? Arena, how will I know the difference again between a dormant vent and a live vent? Well, the live vents would have 400-degree water streaming out, so that's one way. Check. Wide berth on the live hydrothermal vents. Sorry. I thought my mic was muted. This is a dormant field. No live vents. Okay, well, there's one uh, hydrothermal vent. What's the deal with sleeper sharks? I don't know what's up with them. I don't know anything about them. I'm honestly not even sure if I've ever heard of sleeper sharks. I'm glad goblin sharks aren't in this game, but I, I don't think we can go deep enough for goblin sharks. Although, this is definitely deeper than any like real-world diver has ever been, I believe. So maybe we will see goblin sharks at some point in this game, although there's not a lot of creatures left. Goblin sharks are the most terrifying thing in, for me in the Deep Abyss. If you've never actually seen what they are, they're basically like... To me it looks like they're made out of the same stuff that like jellyfish are made out of, which probably isn't true, but basically it's like all the other deep sea creatures that have a weird see-through body. It's like opaque. And... They don't really have, like, they can stretch to incredible lengths. And if you've seen a goblin shark hunt, they just kind of wait until they bump into something or get close, and then they just extend their jaw and bite it. 
Like, if you've never seen a goblin shark hunt, just look it up online, some sort of video or something. It's crazy interesting stuff. Alright, well that's one of the vents I've already scanned, so where did I miss one? Because evidently I missed one somewhere. Since we don't have a map and we don't have waypoints kind of pointing us in a specific direction, it's a bit rougher to find objectives. I'm finding a lot of the sharks, though. Okay, that's the one I scanned. Yeah, it seems like they're kind of along this path. So I shouldn't be missing them. Maybe there's just a way I never went. I don't think I ever went this way. Maybe. But like I said, it's... The map is pretty limited, so it's a bit hard to tell. I definitely don't remember seeing this. Yeah, this definitely feels new. Okay. Neither of you are going to believe this. I think I found the mapping drone. Really? No way. Can you scan it to make sure? Scan confirms. I thought you programmed it to track the noise from the miners. I did. I definitely did. Maybe you never committed the change. You were pretty exhausted that night. Yeah, maybe. Okay, this dive just keeps getting stranger. How hot did you say that water typically is in a live vent? Is that a joke? No joke. Well, we're down one drone, but discovered an unmapped vent system. Mirai, this is great. I truly believe that these systems are the key to understanding the origins of life. Thank you so much for doing the dive under these conditions. Actually, that might be the answer. What? To why the drone died. Mm, we were talking about the origins of life. My mind won't stop if it can't fit all the pieces together. The mapping drone may have cruised too close to the vent. It's got more delicate equipment on its underside that are not rated for anything close to that temperature. You sound almost pleased. Well, it's better to know the flaws so you can fix them. I know we're giving me the silent treatment, but I think I just discovered a new species of octopus. Not sure I can confirm that with just one scan. Sorry, didn't copy that. <laughs> she said she found a new species of octopus, so that's like... That could potentially be something that hasn't even been discovered yet. Interesting. Is that your home? Yeah, that's your home. Interesting. This is a bit of, of an interesting mission because it's still like linear, like I'm still just supposed to follow the paths, but we don't have waypoints constantly pointing us where to go. So we kind of just explore, which is pretty neat, Mira, I must did say. You expect volcanic activity here? Describe, please. Red, glowing, need more? Mira, I, I would give that a very wide berth, like maybe from your sub. Yeah, what can this suit handle? I doubt that. <laughs> but I wonder what happens if I do get close to it. Like, I can't imagine you actually die in this game, right? Like, would I need to restart the mission? I don't want to find out, but... It'd be interesting. It feels like I'm just following these sleeper sharks around. I wonder if sleeper sharks are like sleeper agents. Do I say a code word and then they activate? Oh. Are you kidding me? Describe, please. I can't. I'm, I mean, I don't want to. Mirai, you're making me uneasy. Seriously, we'll look at it together when I'm done with the dive. Yeah, seriously, they're like, they're like, we can't see or hear anything that you see or hear. And she's like, oh my god, are you serious? They're like, uh... <laughs> Like, please describe what you are seeing. Is it Nessie? It would be cool if Nessie was a thing, but I've seen things that basically say Nessie or anything like that probably couldn't be a thing. Just because... Oh, is that no. a whale skeleton? What happened to you? Were you sick? Well, I found out where I'm supposed to get all these spider crab stance scans from. Uh Okay, I'm just gonna restart that scan. It didn't seem like it was finishing. Yeah, I've heard that like when a whale dies, there's it's basically just a buffet for the deep. Like everybody crowds around and has a good time eating the whale. Because they're just so packed full of nutrients. 
Yeah, this is definitely how you get a lot of the required number of scans for some of these creatures. Because there is a ton here, and most of them are individual, like they're not in schools. So it makes it a lot easier just to get a ton. Come here, hagfish. Oh yeah, we're getting our numbers up now. Look at us go. And the creepy-ass spider crabs. And one last hagfish. I don't know what you are. Alright, I think we got them all. Are you okay? Just getting a few last scans. Uh, I wonder if she thinks that's one of hers. Could make sense, and it could be caused by the work that's being done over here. Like, they could have been harmed by this machinery, so that's probably what's going through her head right now. Which really, really sucks if so. Zoom, scale, fluke. Oh. Oh no, she's gonna find out it's one of hers. And saying goodbye to a friend. Can you send the sub? Mm, that sucks. Alright, well, uh, this looks like a pretty good spot to go ahead and end it off, because we did two dives in one episode, and I'm going to have to load in and turn off the music anyway. So I think we're going to go ahead and end it off here, unless a cutscene happens. If a cutscene happens, obviously I'll leave that in. But, um, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end things off here. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Beyond Blue, and I will see you next time. <laughs>